Hello from Cookbook Divas, this is Carrie, and I thought I would kind of dress like the cookbook I'm going to look through with you today. <laughs> Orange Blossom and Honey, Magical Moroccan Recipes from the Souks to the Sahara. And the author is John Gregory Smith. This is the second Moroccan cookbook I've looked through this week. Came out in 2018-ish. Ooh, pretty. I'm looking forward to this one because I like Moroccan food. Okay, Food Photography by Martin Poole. Let's check out the table of contents. Street food, ooh, salads and vegetables, excuse me, meat and pastry, seafood, tagines, desserts, and essentials. I love burping on camera and I'm not gonna go back and edit it, but it's very annoying, sorry. Don't have time to edit because I have so many cookbooks to look through. So he's writing about the setting, land of the setting sun, showing us the beautiful tile from the front. Uh, now we have, is this the first recipe of the book? Let me see. Yes, we're in the street food chapter. The first recipe is night stall noodles and ox cheeks. I can't say that ox cheeks is anything I've ever seen on a menu here in the U.S. This is a harissa beef masemen, which I hope is not pronounced m semen. I don't know. I should have looked it up. This is a fez kefta sandwich. Sizzling souk kebabs. I have to skip ahead because I can't show you the whole cookbook. Steamed chickpea, baguettes, big rear pancakes. That's interesting. Ooh, I'm not sure what that is, but street food. Now we're in the salads and vegetables chapter with a lovely picture of Morocco. Chicken, preserved lemon, and olive salad. Sounds amazing and easy. Goat cheese and grapefruit salad. Cauliflower, fennel, orange, and saffron salad. And a mixed vegetable salad. Uh, Atlas Mountain Salad. That is super colorful. What is in that? Cucumber, tomatoes, red onion, red pepper, pomegranate seeds. Ah, okay. Mountain photo. Nice. Okay. We got to get out of the salad chapter. But I want to show you this Berber frittata. Wow. Okay. And uh, Harissa carrots, village peppers, vegetable brioche. Bakula style spinach. Now we're in the meat and poultry chapter, which is difficult for me as a vegetarian, but I'm going to pull through for you and find you a good picture that doesn't gross me out too much. This is called Rafissa. I guess I have to find out what kind of meat that is. It is chicken thighs. Okay. Here's something called Sefa. Is that lamb? Chicken thighs again. Okay. Tremula spiced chicken. I can see the chicken's pretty popular. Ooh, look at this beautiful spread. Ooh, with some lawn or bullfoff. Looks like some kind of kebabs. I haven't heard a lot of these terms. I'm sure I'm slaughtering the pronunciation. I'm sorry. Mahamer, or Mahamer royal lamb. A Berber medfuna. Why is this meat? For dough, for the filling. Oh, the filling is meat. Okay. A bizarre burger. Not bizarre like weird, but like the marketplace bizarre. <laughs> okay. And this is a lubia balcara, which I think is lamb. And a truck stop kefta. Okay. And beef rice. Oh, there is some beef in here. Okay. Now we're in the seafood chapter. Uh, here's Essaouira grilled sardines and seafood bastillas. I'm loving this food photography, by the way. Fried Atlantic shrimp with preserved lemon and oregano. That wasn't the spice I expected to see in this book. That's cool. Um, Blue Lagoon oysters. I'm sure you're all drooling right now, those of you that eat seafood. Green Harissa lobster. Wow. And artichoke and beef tagine. Quince and lamb tagine, we must have moved to a different chapter. I missed it, sorry. Chicken tagine, saffron and preserved lemon rabbit tagine. Must be a whole tagine chapter, yes. It is. Okay, middle atlas trout tagine. Lots going on there. Ooh, spicy merguez eggs. That'd be too spicy for me, I'm a wimp. Potato tagine, yum. Now we're in the dessert chapter. Look at this beautiful orange blossom and honey cake which is where we get the title of the cookbook, Orange Blossom and Honey. I'm surprised they didn't put the picture of the cake on the front because it's beautiful. Svenge Donuts. Did I say that right? Svenge. 
something called Goriba. Looks like oatmeal cookies. A rose water and lemon ricotta cheesecake. That food photography is remarkably gorgeous. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay. Pomegranate and chocolate cake. We all know what those look like. Looks good. Is there a drinks chapter? Yes. Mint tea. Of course. Well, and steam couscous and fig and lavender jam. That's right. There was a jam chapter. Okay. Wow. That pretty much was pretty awesome. Lots of things I want to try. As a vegetarian, I'll stick to several of the chapters and skip the meat and fish one. The desserts look doable and gorgeous, I think. Since this is a library copy, I'm going to have to return it and buy a copy to keep on my very crowded cookbook bookshelves. Hmm. I'll find room. I'll make room. Thanks for watching this cookbook review from Cookbook Divas. Stop by our website, cookbookdivas.com. We have a podcast for those of you that like to see it. And we post our cookbook review videos on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, occasionally on Pinterest. And we do our cookbook reels where we flip through on Instagram too. And be sure to click like and comment. Please say something nice or nothing at all. <clears throat> if you enjoy our videos so that these social media platforms will show you more of them in that case. <laughs> Bye.